Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to learn how to draw an angle PQR 45 degree and in that we need to draw a circle of radius 55 mm touching PQ and QR and we have to draw another circle of smaller radius touching the first circle externally and also touching PQ and QR. So first we will draw an angle PQR. So this is 45 degree. Now they have given 55 mm. So you go up by 55. From here you go up by 55 mm. And from there you draw horizontal line and you bisect this 45 degree angle See this, wherever your bisector and that 55 mm line will intersect, that is point A. We can write PQR. So we have angle PQR. We bisected angle PQR and we have taken height 55. See this PQR and height 55 wherever it will intersect that is point A. Now from A we will draw perpendicular line. We will take compass. We will take radius equal to 55. We will take radius 55 and we'll draw a circle. So it should touch PQ and QR. Now we need to draw one smaller circle inside. This is B. This is done. Now we need to draw one more smaller circle. So we'll mark this point as S and we'll draw tangent at point S. See this is 55 A to S, right? So we'll take A to S and we'll cut it on this side. So this is point T. Then we'll bisect AT. Then we'll draw this tangent. This is point C. So we got this tangent. Now we need to bisect this angle. SCQ. You extend this wherever it will cut that is point 
D. From there you go down. So this will be the radius of the smaller circle. D E. So we have done the sum, now there is one more method to do the same sum. In that we will mark this point E, join B to E. And you draw a parallel line from S. This is assuming that I don't know uh, the center of that circle, smaller circle. So I will draw a parallel line. See like this. So it will touch at E. And from E you can go up, you will get point D. It's a reverse method. You can follow whichever method you want. Thank you.